हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल लैपटेक वर्ल्ड माई सेल्फ किशोर वाघानी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रदेश लोक सेवा आयोग नेपाल लैब टेक्नीशियन एग्जाम क्वेश्चन पेपर दिस एग्जाम वॉज हेल्ड ऑन नाइनटीन्थ ऑफ नवम्बर And talking about this question paper, this question paper contains some of the basic questions for the post of lab technician that every technician should be aware of, and it is also going to be very important for upcoming OSSSC lab technician exam. So it's my kind request to watch the complete solution of this question paper. And before starting the solution of this question paper, I would like to request if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe my channel, Lab Tech World. and press the bell icon to enable all notifications for my next upcoming videos because in this channel i am regularly uploading the videos of mcqs previous year question papers and various recruitments for the post of lab technician that is going to be very helpful for those who are preparing for the government job in the various states for the post of lab technician let's start today's question paper question number 1 Benedict's test is used to detect which substance in urine the options number 1 sugar number 2 albumin number 3 acetone number 4 protein and the fact given for this question it is benedict's test is used to detect simple carbohydrates the benedict's test identifies reducing sugar that may be monosaccharide or some of disaccharide which have free ketone or aldehyde functional groups in short it is benedict's solution can be used to test the presence of glucose in the urine so in short it is used for the detection of sugar or carbohydrates in the urine so option number 1 sugar is the correct answer for which benedict's test is used move to the next question number 2 molecular weight of urea is dash and the options are number 1 50 g per mole number 2 60 g per mole number 3 80 g per mole number 4 70 g per mole and the fact given for this question it is urea has four elements which are carbon nitrogen oxygen and hydrogen it has a molecular weight of 60.06 g per mole and has a two amine groups and a carboxyl group so in short it has molecular weight of 60 g per mole so option number 2 is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 3 urea synthesis occurs in dash and the options are number 1 liver number 2 kidney number 3 stomach number 4 spleen and the fact given for this question it is urea synthesis takes place in the liver via cyclic pathway the key component for urea synthesis is ornithin on which urea molecule is built and intermediates in this process includes citrullin and arginine so in short it is takes place in the liver so option number 1 liver is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 4 normal level of sodium in serum is dash and the options are number 1 3 to 4 mg per dl number 2 9 to 11 mg per dl number 3 4 to 5 mg equivalent per liter number 4 136 to 145 mg equivalent per liter and the fact given for this question it is normal blood sodium level in serum is between 135 and 145 milli equivalents per liter so as per the information option number 4 136 to 145 milli equivalents per liter is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 5 generally the glass instruments used in laboratories are made up of dash and the options are number 1 borosilicate glass number 2 flint glass number 3 coarse glass number 4 vicor glass and the fact given for this question it is most laboratory glassware is now made available are made up of borosilicate glass such as pyrex or high seal although a certain amount of soda glass apparatus is still in use but more or less it is borosilicate glass that is used in the most of the laboratories as it has several advantages over the soda glasses so option number 1 borosilicate glass is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 6 what type of organic molecule is sugar and the options are number 1 protein number 2 carbohydrates number 3 lipids number 4 hormones and the fact given for this question it is carbohydrates can be simple sugars or complex sugars like starch found in potatoes or rice 
and provides the fuel to power your brain, organs and muscles. The difference related to how quickly the food is digested and its chemical makeup. So it is sugar that is made up of carbohydrate, in short it is carbohydrates. So option number 2 carbohydrate is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 7. Urea clearance test is used to determine dash and the options are number 1 renal plasma flow, number 2 tubular absorption, number 3 concentration, number 4 glomerular filtration rate. And the fact given for this question it is urea clearance test is used to determine the glomerular filtration rate as this test measures the amount of urea nitrogen in your urine. Urea nitrogen is a waste product made when your liver break down proteins. It carried, carried in your blood, filtered out by the kidneys and removed from your blood body in your urine. So, in short it is glomerular filtration test, sorry it is urea clearance test that measures the glomerular filtration rate. So, option number 4 is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 8. The normal glucose level in CSF is dash. And the options are number 1 equal to blood glucose level, number 2 one third of the blood glucose level, number 3 two third of the blood glucose level, number 4 one half of the blood glucose level. And the fact given for this question it is the glucose level in the CSF should be 50 to 80 milligram per deciliter or greater than two third of the blood glucose level. So as per the information option number 3 two third of the blood glucose level is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 9. BUN stands for dash and the options are number 1 blood burn urea nitrogen, number 2 blood urea nitrogen, number 3 blood urine nitrogen, number 4 blood urea nitric acid. And the fact given for this question it is a common blood test the blood urea nitrogen that is BUN test reveals important information about how well your kidneys are working. A BUN test measures the amount of urea nitrogen that is that is present in your blood. So, in short it is blood urea nitrogen is the full form of BUN. So, option number 2 is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 10. The normal sperm count in semen analysis is measured in dash unit and the options are number 1 thousand per cubic millimeter. Number 2, hundreds of cubic millimeter. Number 3, millions per cubic millimeter. Number 4, none of the above. And the fact given for this question it is, total sperm count in semen is measured in millions per ml. This means how many millions of sperms there are in each milliliter of semen. Normal sperm count is more than 20 millions per milliliter. Counts of less than 20 millions per milliliter are considered as a oligospermia. So, in short it is measured in millions per ml. So, this option is not, this unit is not given in any option. So, option number 4, none of the above is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 11. What is neutral pH? And the options are number 1, 6.0, number 2, 8.0, number 3, 5.0, number 4, 7.0. And the fact given for this question it is, the normal range of pH goes from 0 to 14 with 7 being neutral. pH of less than 7 indicates the acidic pH whereas the pH greater than the 7 indicates the basic pH. So as per the information it is 7.0 that indicates the neutral pH. So option number 4 is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 12. Thyroid function test does not include dash. And the options are number 1 TSH, number 2 T3, number 3 thyroglobulin, number 4 troponins. And the fact given for this question it is thyroid function tests <coughs> are a series of blood tests used to measure how well your thyroid gland is working. Available test includes the T3, T3RU that is thyroglobulin that is a protein made by the follicular cells of the thyroid gland. It is used by the thyroid glands to produce T3 and T4 and T4 and TSH. So, it is T3, T4, TSH and thyroglobulin that are included in the thyroid function test. The thyroid is a small gland located in the lower front part of your neck. So, 
as per the information it is troponin that is not included in the thyroid function test so option number four is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 13 pancreatic amylase is responsible for the digestion of dash and the options are number one protein number two lipids number three carbohydrates number four nucleic acid and the fact given for this question it is pancreatic amylase completes the digestion of carbohydrates producing glucose a small molecule that is absorbed in your blood and carried throughout your body so as per the information it is carbohydrate that is digested by the pancreatic amylase so option number three is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 14 what is the what does qa and qc stands for and the options are number one quality assurance and qc control number two quality as adjustment and quality completion number three quality assurance and quality control number four quality adjustment and qc control and the fact given for this question it is the term quality assurance that is qa and quality control that is qc are often used interchangeably the qa testing focus on preventing assurance that quality requ requested will be achieved whereas qc testing focused on fulfilling the quality requested qa focus on the preventing the defect while as quality control or qc focus on identifying the defects so there is the basic different big difference between the qa and qc and the full form as per the information is it is quality assurance and quality control so option number three is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 15 rothra's test is used to detect dash in urine and the options are number one glucose number two albumin number three acetone number four protein and the fact given for this question it is Rothra's test is a method of testing urine for the presence of acetone or acetoacetic acid a sign of diabetes mellitus so as per the information it is option number three acetone is the correct answer for which Rothra's test is used so option number three is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 16 liquefaction time ranges for semen is dash and the options are number one within two hours number two within 45 minutes number three within 10 minutes within two and a half hours and the fact given for this question it is normally semen coagulates upon ejaculation and usually liquefies within 15 to 20 minutes maximumly within 30 minutes of the ejaculation so as per the information option number two within 45 minutes is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 17 which of the following anticoagulants does not bind with calcium and the options are number one edta number two double oxalate number three heparin number four sodium citrate and the fact given for this question it is small amount of heparin inhibits the factor x a that is option factor 10 a and larger amount of inhibits the thrombin from prothrombin heparin also prevents the formation of a stable fibrin clot by inhibiting the activation of fibrin stabilizing factors heparin does not have any fibrinolytic activity therefore it will not lyse the existing clots so the main anticoagulant activity of heparin is just because of its inhibiting activity on fibrin stabilizing factors not because of chelating calcium so option number three heparin is the correct answer that does not bind with calcium rest of the three that is edta sodium citrate and double oxalate chelates the calcium and thus in exhibits the activity of anticoagulant so option number three is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 18 esr value is is expressed in and the options are number one centimeter per hour number two millimeter per hour, one hour number three kilometer per hour number four inch per hour and the fact given for this question it is the ESR is expressed as millimeter per hour and varies between age group and sex. The test for measuring ESR was first described by Western Grains and Ferrasus and it is well known as the Western Grains method. So in short it is measured in unit millimeter per one hour or millimeter per hour. So option number two is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 19. Thick films are used for 
and the options are four different lu differential leukocyte counts number two ma malarial parasite and microfilary number three for bone marrow examinations number four for the total count and the fact given for this question it is a thick blood smear is a drop of blood on a glass slide thick blood smear are most useful for detecting the presence of parasites like malarial parasites and microfilary as because they examines a larger sample of blood that is going to be very helpful in certain cases where fewer parasites are present in the blood so in short it is measure it is as helpful in detection of parasites malarial parasites and microfilary so option number two is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 20 which granulocytes has largest granules and the options are well, number one eosinophil number two monocytes number three neutrophil number four basophils and the fact given for this question it is basophils are a type of white blood cells basophils are the least common type of granulocyte representing about 0.5 to 1 percent of circulating white blood cells however they have the largest type of granules among the all the granulocytes so as per the information it is basophils that have the largest granules amongst the granulocytes so option number four is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 21 in blood group system antigen is found on the surface of dash and the options are number one plasma number two rbc's number three wbc number four platelets and the fact given regarding this question it is blood group antigens are found on the surface of red blood cells and are ignored by the immune system but antigens of another blood type will be seen as a foreign substance and attacked by the antibodies that are present in the serum antibodies are produced by white blood cells and usually and used by the immune system to identify and attack foreign substance in the body so as per the information it is option number two rbc is the correct answer where the antigen for uh, blood group is present so option number two is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 22 composition of blood contains following except dash and the options are number one plasma number two rbc's number three albumin number four cast and the fact given regarding this question it is blood has four main components that is plasma red blood cell white blood cells and platelets in addition to this blood also have glucose hormone albumin and protein mineral salts fats and various vitamins so as per the information the composition of blood contains rbc plasma albumin etc but it does not include cast so option number four cast is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 23 polychromatic stage of rbc is known as dash and the options are number one myeloblast number two reticulocyte number three megaloblast number four band form and the fact given regarding this question it is polychromatic stage of rbc is generally seen in polychromasia polychromasia is caused when immature red blood cell called reticulocytes are released prematurely from the bone marrow these reticulocytes appears on a blood film as a bluish color because they still contains rna fragments that up makes the appearance of polychromatic which aren't usually present in on mature rbc's so as per the information it is reticulocyte is the correct answer that is known as the polychromatic stage of rbc's move to the next question number 24 average range of platelet count is dash and the options are number one 50,000 to 1 lakh per ml number two 1.0 to 1.5 lakhs per microliter number three 3.5 to 4.5 lakhs per microliter number four 1.5 to 4.5 lakhs per microliter and the fact given regarding this question it is a normal platelet count ranges from 1 lakh 50,000 to 4 lakh 50,000 that means 1.5 to 4.5 lakhs per microliter of blood having more than 4 lakh 50,000 platelets in a condition is called thrombocytosis having less than 1 lakh 50,000 platelet is known as the thrombocytopenia so in short it is 
normal range for platelet it is 1.5 to 4.5 lakhs per microliter so option number 4 is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 25 allergic reactions are frequently associated with an increase in the presence of dash and the options are number 1 lymphocytes number 2 neutrophils number 3 monocytes number 4 eosinophils and the fact given regarding this question it is allergic diseases including allergic rhinitis atopic asthma and atopic dermatitis can be associated with a mild peripheral blood eosinophilia although tissue eosinophils and eosinophils in nozzle secretions sputum and bl fluid can be more significantly elevated so in short it is eosinophils that are increased in the allergic conditions so option number four is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 26 what is the lifespan of rbc's and the options are number one 120 days number two 100 days number two 200 days sorry number three 200 days number four 80 days and the fact given regarding this question it is human red blood cells after differentiating from erythroblast in the bone marrow are released into the blood and survive in the circulation for approximately 120 days in a normal individuals with a mean rbc lifespan it is 115 days this value may vary between 70 to 140 days so in short it is 120 days that is the lifespan of the rbc's so option number one is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 27 anticoagulant of choice for esr by Wintrobes method is dash and the options are option number one heparin number two warfarin number three trisodium citrate number four edta and the fact given regarding this question it is in Wintrobes method for esr edta anticoagulated blood without extra dilute is drawn into the tube and the rate of fall of red blood cell is measured in the millimeter per one hour so as per the information it is edta that is the anticoagulant of choice for esr by Wintrobes method so option number four is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 28 the antibody for abo and rh blood group are present in dash and the options are number one in plasma number two on wbc number three on rbc's number four on platelets and the fact given regarding this question it is blood is made up of red blood cells white blood cells and platelets in a liquid say, liquid called plasma your blood group is identified by the antibodies and antigen in the blood antigens that is a b or h are present on the rbc's whereas antibodies that is nth nta ntb and ntd are present in the plasma so as per the information option number one in plasma is the correct answer where antibodies for ab1 rh blood group are present so option number one is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 29 the normal range of plasma hemoglobin is dash and the options are number one 13 to 18 grams per dd number two 50 to 80 gram milligrams per deciliter number three 10 to 40 milligrams per deciliter number four 13 to 18 milligrams per deciliter and the fact given regarding this question it is the reference range range for hemoglobin concentration in adults are as follow in male it is 14 to 18 grams per deciliter in female it is 12 to 16 grams per deciliter and in pregnant female it, it should be greater than 11 grams per deciliter so as per the information the normal range normal range for hemoglobin concentration it is 13 to 18 grams per deciliter so option number four is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 30 a child with itching sensation in perineal area what is the suspected parasitological infections and the options are number one pinworm number two roundworm number three whipworm number four hookworm and the fact given regarding this question it is female pinworms moves to the anal or vaginal area to lay their eggs which often results in anal or vaginal itching when you scratch the itchy area the eggs clang to your fingers and get under your fingernails these eggs then transfer to the other surfaces such as toys beddings and toilet seats so in short it is pinworm that is responsible for itching sensation in perineal area 
So, option number 1 is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 31. Neurocystic sarcosis is caused by option number 1, tinea solium, number 2, tinea saginata, number 3, tinea coli, number 4, tinea neuri. And the fact given regarding this question, it is neurocystic sarcosis is a preventable parasitic infection caused by larval cyst of the POC tapworm known as tinea solium. The larval cyst can infect various parts of the body causing a condition known as the cystosarcosis. So, as per the information, it is tinea solium that is responsible for the neurocystosarcosis. So, option number 1 is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 32. Locomotory organ of protozoa are and the options are number 1 pseudopodia, number 2 cilia, number 3 flagella, number 4 all of the above. And the fact given regarding this question it is the protozoan shows four types of locomotion processes that is pseudopodia number two flagellated number three ciliary and number four peristaltic movement the pseudopodial movements are finger like and blunt protrusions of cytoplasm that helps in the protozoal movement so as per the information it is all of the above is the correct answer that means pseudopodia cilia and flagella all are the modes for the locomotory or movement for the protozoas. So, all of the above is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 33. Presence of blood, mucus and offensive smelling stool are the characteristic feature of DASH and the options are number 1 amoebic dysentery, number 2 bacillary dysentery, number 3 stomach edge, number 4 parasit parasitic infections and the fact given regarding this question it is infection by entomoeba histolytica may be asymptomatic. For patients who develop amoebic dysentery, symptoms include fever, chills, diarrhea, abdominal pain and passing stool with blood and or urine and or mucus etc. Entomoeba histolytica may invade the liver to form an abscess that can cause an offensive smell too. So as per the information it is entomoeba histolytica that causes the amoebic dysentery for which presence of blood, mucus and offensive smell, smelling to stool are the characteristic features. So option number 1 is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 34. Staining material of gram positive bacterium is dash on the options are number 1 fast green, number 2 crystal violet, number 3 hematoxylin, number 4 safranin. And the fact given regarding this question, it is gram-positive bacteria stains violet due to the presence of a thick layer of peptidoglycan in their cell walls, which retains the crystal violet and in contrast, after decolorization, gram-negative bacteria are stained by the safranin. So, as per the information, it is option number 2, crystal violet is the staining material that is used for staining of gram-positive bacterium. So, option number 2 is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 35. Which of the following parasite is transmitted by the cat? And the options are number 1, Balentidium coli, number 2, Toxoplasma gondi, number 3, Ischinococcus granulosus, number 4, Toxocera canis. And the fact given regarding this question it is, cat plays an important role in the spread of Toxoplasmosis. That means, infection caused by the Toxoplasma gondi parasites. They become infected by eating infected rodents birds and other small animals. The parasite is then passed in the cat's feces in an oocyst form to the another animals. So as per the information it is option number 2 Toxoplasma gondi that is transmitted by the cat. So option number 2 is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 36. Which of the following cystode cause hydatide cyst? And the options are number 1 tinea, number 2 ischinococcus, number 3 schistosoma, number 4 entomoeba. And the fact given regarding this question it is, although human can be definitive host for cystodes, that means step form, major pathogenic conditions occur during cystoid larval stage when human serves as an intermediate host for these parasites. The most relevant form of human disease caused by the cystoid larval larva are Ischinococcus caused by the Ischinococcus granulosus and Ischinococcus multi multilocularis and 
cystosarcosis caused by the tinea solium. So, from the above information, it is option number two, cystinococcus cystoid causes the hydatide cyst. So, option number two is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 37. Toxoplasma gondii is a dash and the options are number one, virus, number two, fungus, number three, protozoa, number three, helminthus. And the fact given regarding this question, it is Toxoplasma gondii is a parasitic protozoan that infects most species of warm blooded animal including humans and causes the disease toxoplasmosis. So as per the information it is option number two is the correct answer for this question it is that means toxoplasma gondi is a protozoa. So option number three is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 38. The infective stage of intermeba histolytica is dash and the options are number one trophozoids, number two cyst, number three larva, number four adult parasite. And the fact given regarding this question it is infective stage of entamoeba histolytica is the cyst that must be swallowed for the life cycle to begin. Passage of cyst occurs in the small intestine from where trophozoids migrate to the large intestine where they multiply by the binary fission and produces more cyst. So it is cyst that is the most infective form of entamoeba histolytica. So option number two is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 39. The use of iodine in stool examination is because of it dash and the options are number one stain adult worm, number two stain cyst membrane, number three stain nuclei, number four stain food particles and the fact given regarding this question it is Lugol's iodine or iodine stain stains the protozoan nuclei and intracyt intracytoplasmic organelles brown making them easier to identify. Dilution is necessary prior to the use as strong iodine solution tends to coagulate fecal particles and destroy the refractile nature of protozoan organisms. So it is protozoan nuclei is the correct answer for which iodine is used to stain as, as iodine used as a stain in the stool examination. So option number three is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 40. Which of the following is not a worm infection? And the options are number 1 enter Entrobiasis, number 3 Schistosomiasis, number 3 Amoebiasis, number 4 Leishmaniasis. And the fact given regarding this question it is Amoebiasis is a disease caused by the parasitic protozoans Entomoeba histolytica. It can affect anyone although it is more common in people who live in tropical areas with poor sanitary conditions. So, as per the information, it is option number 3, amoebiasis is the correct answer, which is not a worm infection. Rest of the three are the examples of worm infections. Move to the next question number 41. Pseudopodia is a mode of locomotion of dash and the options are number 1, candida, number 2, trepanoma, number 3, entamoeba, histolytica, number 4, mycoplasma. And the fact given regarding this question, it is amoeba is a protozoan primitive organism which possesses or processes pseudopodia as an organ of locomotion. So as per the information it is entamoeba histolytica that possesses the mode of locomotion as pseudopodia. So option number 3 is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 42. Jill Nielsen stain is dash option number 1 nuclear stain number 2 cytoplasmic stain number 3 acid fast stain number 4 metachromatic stain and the fact given regarding this question it is the Jill Nielsen stain also known as the acid fast stain was first described by two German doctors French Jill and sorry French Jill a bacteriologist and Friedrich Nielsen a pathologist it is a special bacteriological stain used to identify acid fast mycobacteria that is mycobacterium tuberculosis so it is option number three acid fast stain that is also known as the Jill Nielsen stain or Jill Nielsen stain is also known as the acid fast stain. Option number 3 is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 43. Vidal test is commonly used to diagnose DASH and the options are number 1 typhoid fever, number 2 typhus fever, number 3 Q fever, number 4 dengue fever. And the fact given regarding this question it is Vidal test is an agglutination test which detects the presence of serum agglutinins that is O and H antigens in the sorry O and H antibodies in the patient serum with 
typhoid and paratyphoid fevers so as per the information it is typhoid fever or paratyphoid fever is the correct answer for which vidal test is commonly used for the diagnosis so option number one is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 44 urinary bladder is situated in dash and options are number one cranial cavity number two pelvic cavity number three thoracic cavity number four abdominal cavity and the fact given regarding this question it is the urinary bladder is a temporary storage reservoir for urine it is located in the pelvic cavity posterior to the symphysis pubis and below the peri Ital peritoneum. The size and shape of urinary bladder varies from the amount of urine it contains and with the pressure it receives from the surrounding organs. So, as per the information, it is located in the pelvic cavity. So, option number 2 is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 45. Normal glomerular filtration rate is dash. Option number 1 50 ml per minute. Number 2 125 ml per minute. Number 3 250 ml per minute. Number 4 500 ml per minute. And the fact given regarding this question is, according to the National Kidney Foundation, the normal result ranges from 90 to 120 ml per minute for glomerular filtration rate. Older people will have lower than the normal GFR levels as because of GFR decreases with age. So, as per the information, it is option number 2, 125 ml per minute is the correct answer. That is the normal glomerular filtration rate. Move to the next question number 46. Normal sperm count is dash millions per ml. And the options are number 1, 60 to 150. Number 2, 20 to 40. Number 3, 100 to 250. Number 4, 6 to 12. And the information given regarding this question it is normal sperm densities ranges from 20 millions to greater than 200 million sperms per milliliter of the semen. So, as per the information, option number 3 is the correct answer. That is, the normal sperm count rate is 100 to 250 million per ml. So, option number 3 is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 47. Smoky brown color of urine is due to the presence of dash. Option number 1, first cell. Number 2, casts. Number 3, red cells. Number 4, hemoglobin. And the fact given regarding this question, it is hemolytic anemia is an autoimmune disorder wherein the immune system mistakenly attacks the healthy red blood cells in your body. This can cause breakdown of the hemoglobin, a protein in the red blood cells that carries the oxygen around the body. The hemoglobin can enter the urinary tract and causes urine to turn smoky brown. So, it is because of the presence of hemoglobin. So, option number 4, hemoglobin is the correct answer that is responsible for the smoky brown appearance of the urine. Move to the next question number 48. HIV is dash. Options number 1 RNA virus, number 2 DNA virus, number 3 bacteria, number 4 none of the above. And the fact given regarding this question it is HIV is a retrovirus which means it carries single stranded RNA as its genetic material rather than the double stranded DNA that human cell usually carries. Retrovirus also have the enzyme reverse transcriptase which allows it to copy RNA into DNA and uses that DNA copy to infect human and host cells. So as per the information it is HIV is an RNA virus. So option number 1 is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 49. VDRL test is the test done for option number 1 syphilis number 2 malaria number 3 tuberculosis number 4 all of the above. And the fact given regarding this question it is, the VDRL test is a screening test for syphilis. It measures substance or proteins called antibodies which your bodies may produce if you have come in contact with the bacteria that causes the syphilis. So, as per the information it is, syphilis is the correct answer for which VDRL test is done for. Move to the next question number 50. In Jill Nielsen stain. Concentration of acid solution is dash and the options are number 1 2.5% number 3 3% number 3 1% number 4 1.5% and the fact given regarding this question it is the reagents used for Jill Nielsen staining are carbofuxin, acid alcohol and methylene blue. Acid fast bacillus are stained bright red after staining and the concentration of various chemicals used in the staining are 
acid alcohol in 3% volume by volume. If it is used sulfuric acid, then it is 20%. Malachite green or methylene blue in concentration of 0.5% weight by volume. So, as per the information, it is option number 2. 3% is the correct answer. That is the concentration of acid solution used in the Gill Nielsen steam. So, option number 2 is the correct answer for this question. That's all for the today. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe my channel Lab Tech World for such and more informative videos. And if you like my work, then like and share my videos with your friends who are preparing for the government jobs for the post of lab technician. Thank you. Thank you very much.